In London during 1926, John Logie Baird demonstrated a mechanical television system that used rotating discs to scan an image. The picture was made up of 30 vertical lines with five images per second. Experimenters had been trying to make a system to transmit moving pictures since the birth of radio. But Baird's system was the first that actually worked. Baird kept refining his mechanical television by adding more lines to his scanning system and transmitting frames at a rate fast to convey the illusion of motion. At the same time, research groups around the world were working on different television systems that were completely electronic. They used a cathode ray tube to display images, but the problem was at the transmitting end of the system, where early camera tubes, the heart of the television camera, were proving too limited. By 1930, British test transmissions using the mechanical system were transmitted on a semi-regular basis and the Baird system was being trialled in France and Germany. Sound would be added to the system, but images were still small and blurry. In 1936, at London's Alexandra Palace, a series of trials of both the mechanical system and EMI's electronic system commenced. The team from EMI, led by Alan Blumlane, had developed what was called a high-definition system. Hello, Radio Olympia. This is direct television from the studios at the Alexander Palace. The EMI technology sent 25 images per second, each made up of 405 lines. It completely outclassed the Baird system and is the direct ancestor of the television we have today.